What a beautiful day to be in our beloved Baltimore after a wonderful Ravens win with transportation and connection champions like Senator McRae, Delegate Learman, Mayor Scott, and my fellow county executives. I'm pleased to be here to express my support for the Transit Safety and Investment Act, Senate Bill 199, House Bill 114, a bill that will help equalize the playing field for transportation system in our Baltimore region. In Howard County, we have invested in infrastructure to add resources, improve communities, and increase accessibility through a truly multimodal transportation system that better connects Howard County to the Baltimore region. We recognize that alleviating traffic is important to our quality of life and is vital to protecting our environment by reducing the number of cars on the road. Howard County residents have shared interest in solving our transportation problems in the Baltimore region. Nearly 60% of our residents commute in and out of Howard County each and every day. And despite our location between two major metropolitan areas, the Mark Camden Line is the only all day long distance transit service in Howard County. We need both a well run and adequately funded system if we want to improve the quality of life and opportunities for all residents and businesses. Howard County is appreciative of the regional transportation plan adopted last year. However, that is merely a first step toward improving our transit system. The existing system must be adequately funded and maintained. Statewide transit funding priorities need to focus on the state of good repair needs in both the Baltimore and Washington regions as we work to beat COVID-19 and plan for economic recovery and revitalization. No matter where we are in our region, the trips to downtown need to be safe and accessible and reliable before we have a chance at meaningful expansion. And we look forward to increased regional collaboration on our mutual transit needs to ensure reliable and accessible infrastructure for all of our residents.